the state of Texas, you wouldn't necessarily have to suffer from it. But if we mess up in Washington, which they do constantly, everybody suffers. So, and that's, that's why the centralized government is something that they do. The federal government could do to back off us and give us a chance. What about if we took a position that we would freeze the uh, regulatory system they give you a break, no new regulation. I mean, just think if we didn't expand the federal register for three, four, five years. No more regulation, and the only thing we could do to improve your life would be to repeal the government regulation. Uh, it's, it's refreshing to actually have somebody look at the Constitution as uh, something other than a moldy piece of paper. Uh, you know, he's, he's taken a couple of times in his career the an oath to defend the Constitution, and the guy has stepped up and you know put put his money where his mouth is. And he walks the walk. Right. Uh, that's that's why I support him. Right. He's a conservative American that practices the principles we all are concerned about, more particularly in New Hampshire, the Constitution, the the ethics, the honor, the trust. We trust them when elected to do the right thing, which I find would be very refreshing. Or what I like about New Hampshire politics is you get to see the people, you get to shake their hands, you get to see what they look like, how they act, interact with other people as well. It's, it's, we're not a huge state where you never get near anyone. In New Hampshire, we like to get near you, we like to see how your handshake is, look you in the eye, and check you out. I also believe that he's extremely consistent, um, and we were talking about earlier this morning that he's a man of integrity uh, in a profession that you don't often see a lot of integrity, so that really attracts me to him. But the other thing that um, I'm really excited about is I think he's uh, commandeering a liberty movement that is really doing a lot to really capture the hearts and minds of the youth of America. So I would say that maybe it's a little slower than last time, but it's still not unreasonable to think that people are still looking at their candidates. One thing for sure is is that uh, the, the people are pretty darn upset, and they are looking, and because there are so many problems and so many questions, I think they're scrutinizing all the candidates a lot more on how, how an individual is going to solve the problem. Is it will it be all the same old promises again, the same old type of politicians, the same old status quo? And I think that's why they're a bit frustrated. and. Uh, I think that's where I stand out differently because I don't represent the status quo in any way.